Shane, Azure Assembly. This is a haul video, um, a combination haul from Sephora, Mac, Ulta, Macy's, uh, a few different places. If you don't know or you don't follow me on Facebook, I recently was over in the US for three weeks. Um, so I had like a year and a half to save for this trip and I knew I wanted to go over and get a lot of makeup items that aren't available in Australia. Um, so this, I'm going to say this up front, there is a lot of makeup here. Um, like I said, though, I've had over 18 months to save. I knew I was going over there and I knew there were certain things that I did want and I knew it was going to be the holidays so I knew there'd be a lot of holiday collections I wanted to get. So I'm in no way bragging, um, so please don't leave any comments like you know that's a ridiculous amount of makeup or whatever because this is what I wanted to go and buy and I did um, also I did have some money put aside for clothes and things but I couldn't find any plus size clothing stores which was really disappointing so I just put that money into buying some makeup and whatnot as well so I'll get into the haul um, a lot of stuff's been taken out of its boxes and stuff because when I got home I packed everything away just because I only have a very limited amount of space so you'll have to bear with me I to start off, I got three of the still in the palettes. I got the In the Light palette, which is a nude palette, In the Moment, which is a purple base palette, and In the Garden, which is a lot of greens and type shades. Um, I wanted to get these for a while because I've seen a lot of reviews on them and I thought they looked really nice, so I got those. I got the Smashbox Masterclass Palette 2. I think this was about $59. And it came with some gel um, eyeliners, some blushes, some pressed powders, and all these eyeshadows. I thought this was a pretty good um, deal as well, because there's a little bit of everything there. And I haven't actually got any of the Smashbox products before, so I really was excited to try that. Uh, let's see what else we have. I got this Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals palette. Um, this was their holiday palette and this was I think about $40 or so and it was pretty cool because um, you get it and it has all these shades and you can actually, it's not going to let me do it now, you can um, pull this out and like, separate it. So you can, um, you can also, it comes like this little mirror and a little brush. But you can also pop the. No, that's gonna let me do it now. You can pop these shades out, so you can actually go around, and you can change these three shades. So you can put it as any of these shades. You can mix and match, and put them around, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, especially if you do a bit of travelling and stuff, you can just pack up and go like a little weekend. You can just put a few eyeshadows in there, and you're pretty set. <coughs> I got a bit of a love affair with the Pantone Universe stuff and I saw Xparkish do a review on this palette and I really like the look of it and it's got like you know earth, um, earth, air, water, fire, air, water, earth, fire, something like that and I was pretty keen on getting this. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with the swatches in the store but I have used it since I got home and they're actually not that bad once you work a little bit with them and so they look like they're. That was around the $40 mark, I want to say. <coughs> you have to excuse my voice, I'm getting over a bit of a cold as well. Um, I did go to a Mac store and I got some, um, a Mac Pro store and I got some Mac products. Got this blush refill in Plum Foolery, Fleur powder. Well dressed, which I really like that colour. I was really glad to get that. It's a really nice dusky kind of colour. And I also got Blush Baby. Just trying to pull them out of my Z palette um, as I'm trying to show you guys this. So I got those blush pans. They're about, I think they're in $15 each or so. And of course, I went into Mac. So I had to get some MAC Pro eyeshadow refills. I'm a huge fan of the MAC um, refills. So um, I got Bright Sunshine, which is a pro colour. Expensive pink. Really like that colour as well. I actually got a, another one for a friend. It's a gorgeous lid colour. Coral. 
navel. That's a really nice um, matte blue as well. Rose. Again, I'm sorry I'm taking a little while. I'm just getting them out of my Z palette. Um, it's how I store all my eyeshadows now that are loose. Foley. Brulee. That's a nice highlighting colour. I like that for highlighting. Sour Lemon. Contrast. Another gorgeous blue shade. Cobalt. Antique. And I've got a couple more to go. Cranberry. Gorgeous shade for the holidays. Night Divine. And I also can get it out. Got Idolize. And they were $10 each. So, you know, here in Australia, we're paying nearly $40 for an eyeshadow. So, that was pretty good. And a little bit about my trip home getting the next thing. Uh, we went over for three weeks. We were there for Thanksgiving, which was really awesome. I tried candied yams. They were amazing. I need to get a recipe for someone. If you have an awesome candied yams recipe, let me know. Um, I got the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. I don't actually own a lot of Laura Mercier products. Um, they are available to try, but they're just a lot very expensive. That's what it looks like there. Gorgeous purples and some nudie tones. So definitely like this palette to be doing a look or something with. So we've got this like crocodile skin type packaging. Three Urban Decay 24-7 aligners. I got it in Sabbath, Retrograde and Radium. And they're really nice. Um, I love Retrograde. I use them in a look. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's very iridescent. Quite nice. And those are $20 each. So there is a lot of makeup that is happening here, but like I said, I saved up for a very long time for this. Uh, let's see. I wanted to try a few new foundations as well. Um, again, makeup here is ridiculously marked up in Australia. So I got this Estee Lauder Double Wear in shade 2W1. Um, I like it so far of what I've used it. It's a nice match and it applies nicely. I want to give it a bit more of a workout before I do any reviews on it. Um, the next thing I got was a Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup in shade 250 Bisque Warm. This product really did disappoint me a bit. Um, it's got beautiful coverage. I actually really like the foundation itself. But the colour is about a shade too light. Um, however, if I'm using my MAC Studio Fix powder, which I use to set everything, if I apply it a little bit heavier, it does work. But I was a bit disappointed that the colour was so light. In the store, it did look, when they matched me up, it did look like it matched. Um, but it is actually quite, made me look quite pasty when I wore it out. So, but I have worn it since, and I just applied a bit more heavier powder, and it did work. So, it's just a little bit frustrating. I'd have to work a bit more with it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this is one of the holiday sets I got. This was the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Set that in the cuff. Came with this cute little cuff that you can wear. And open up, and it's got the four blushes and the matte bronzer. And it's really nice. I've used it a couple of times, and I quite like the formula of that. So that was a good buy. That was about. That was about thirty dollars. I want to say thirty nine dollars, ish. Um, the next thing I got was these little mini lip tar set. These have the shades in. I think it's uh, Mento, Not Safe for Work, Anime, and Black Delilah. I already, <clears throat> I already own these shades in full size. However, um. Often I will decant them when I travel just because I don't really want to take the full one just in case, you know, people aren't gentle with luggage. Um, my luggage when I came back from America was dented and it was terrible. I'm surprised things didn't break in it actually. Um, so I thought these would be quite nice. Um, they worked out $5 each. I thought these would be good to travel because these are not safe for work and black delire colours I wear all the time and anime's a really nice pink as well. So I thought this would be good for travelling. I won't have to decant them and as well, you know, they're only a lot smaller so... That was a pretty good travel idea. Um, I got a 
OCC Lip Tight In Electric Grandma. Um, I thought I had bought this, but I was going through my shades the other day and I didn't have it. And it wasn't available on the OCC website or on the Lipstick Republic website, and they weren't sure when it was coming in. And I happened to find one when I was over there, so I picked it up. Mm -hmm. Caesars Hotel in Vegas, and they actually had an Inglot there. Inglot in America is ridiculously cheap. I think it was like five dollars for an eyeshadow um, pen. But when I was over there, um, we were in Vegas over Thanksgiving. They had, I think it was 40% off on all the products in the store. So I got the entire set of the rainbow um, shimmer colours. So you can see that they've got that little bit of shimmer in them, as well as two colours from their new collection. These all up were, I think these were retail $150 or something. I got them for like $100. Where in Australia I would have been paying like two, three hundred dollars for all of those, so I was pretty stoked to get all those. I saw this brand. I had I've heard of the blushes. I didn't know they did eyeshadows. Um, Cargo, and I got this at Macy's, and this was forty-five dollars, I think. And this is their Meet in Paris um, palette, and it's really pretty. The colours are really pigmented. And they've got some cool names like you know, um, Croissant is gorgeous. A, a nice blue green shade. Um, the Louvre, Creme Brulee, Bonjour, Cafe, it's all French names obviously and it comes with a brush so that was quite nice. Sort of looked, I haven't denied about it for a while when I was waiting for one of my friends and I thought I'm just going to get it because I can. And I did. Um, another holiday kit I got this one was Joy to the Girls from Too Faced. Yeah. Being so hard to open. Now it's got weaker. When it comes like this, you get a full size mascara. This was $49 as well, I think. Um, but it came with a full size mascara. It's got like a little lookbook on the side there. But all these gorgeous shades. Um, I'd seen a few reviews that I wasn't going to get. I did get a friend of mine to get me one of the other ones, the um, all of, a few of my favourite things palette. And I'd heard all, all the reviews I'd heard of this palette weren't great. They were saying the colours weren't pigmented all that kind of stuff. When I was um, at the Sephora, one of the Sephora's I went to, I saw one, I just sort of played with the colours, sort of did a few swatches, and it was actually quite pigmented, and I was fairly impressed with it, so I did pick one up. I haven't had a chance to give it um, a full workout yet, but, because I've only been home for, this is like, day four since I've been home, and I'm here doing a haul for you guys. I went on, um, actually onto my Facebook, and I was like, I don't have time to record a tutorial, today which I actually ended up did recording a tutorial um, but I was like what do you guys want to see and uh, one of my friends in a group of me said we want a whole video of all the stuff you've bought and I was like it's gonna be a bit cool and they're like just do it um, they had obviously it's the holidays so they had all these holiday kits out um, they had an eye mascara kit a perfume kit and things like that I wasn't interested in those but I did get this give me more lip kit um, this was $59 but this has got an over a value of over $209. So these are all the products that are in there. I mean, it's got a full size OCC lip tire in it, which are $20 anyway. And it's actually got quite a lot of full size products in there, which I thought was a really good value. So it comes in this gorgeous pink. And that's what's in there. So you've got like a full size Amazonian clay, I believe, lipstick. You've got a bite lip pencil. They're really nice. OCC lip tire. A full size Bare Minerals and a Cat Von D liquid one. The I've actually did swatch these when I was over in America, just because one day I was a bit bored and I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to swatch those. Um, thing I worked, there's only about three actual glosses in here. Um, I did think there was more, but these Cat Von D liquid lipsticks or whatever they are are amazing. I went looking for more of these, but the Sephora were in Hawaii where I actually was playing around with this um, sold out of them all so I was so disappointed so I'm gonna have to pick up some of these but they're really nice uh, remind me a lot of like the lime crime velveteen style really nice um, there's some smashbox forever um, makeup forever OCC bare minerals it was a really good set if you can still get this in your store I would really recommend getting it they are fantastic a um, little hourglass one it's a really good set it's, so you can see it all there. I'll do a couple of swatches. We haven't done any swatches yet. I'll do this on things I've raved about. This is the Kat Von 
D, Everlasting Love. It's a little dough for applicator. See, that's just one swipe, and it's just this most intense pink colour. It's gorgeous. Uh, so, a Smashbox one here. This is in Nylon Nude. See, it's just a really nice nude colour. Uh, a Stiller All Day Liquid Lipstick in Dolce. It's just that really nice brown at the top. If you've still got this in one of your stores, I would really pick it up. It's worth $59. It's actually like the only thing I left in the box because like, I need to show everyone what's in the box. Um, <clears throat> when I picked up my Estee Lauder Double Wear, they had a promotion there because it was the holidays that you could, if, for an extra $30, you could pick up a kit. And this is the kit here. It actually was a pretty good deal, so I did pick it up. When you open it, there's a mirror there and a little lookbook. Two Estee Lauder lip glosses. Then when you open it, this side's full of lipsticks and one bronze shade and three blushes, full size blushes, I believe they said they were. Um, and then here, you get all these eyeshadows, they say a lot of eyeshadows, as well as some brushes, but the brushes aren't fantastic quality. The only thing I don't like about them is it is this overlay type thing again, but the shades are really nice. Um, very pigmented. Well, that's just two of the shades there, just a quick little finger swatch. I thought that was a pretty good value for $30. And you also got an eyeliner, double ended eyeliner. Especially considering like Estee Lauder, oh, that's a bit loud, it's ridiculously expensive anyway. Even over in America, it still wasn't as cheap as I thought it would have been. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I picked that up as well. Um, I picked up one of my favourite, um, well, this is. The moisturizer I use every single day, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Normally you can only get these in like 120ml bottles, but apparently over the holiday period that they actually do them in these jumbo size 200ml bottles. Um, I picked up two. I've got one for my everyday use as well as a backup because I do use it all the time. So I got that. I also picked up, because um, when I was, went over, I had a normal bottle and I only had probably 10 mil left in it so I thought I'll take it over so I can use it on the plane for moisturizer because we're on there for over 10 hours plus a four hour layover in Hawaii then another eight six hour flight to San Francisco so I thought that way I'll be able to just give my skin a little bit of a moisturize uh, re-moisturize my skin because I wasn't having wearing any makeup or anything um, but they took it because the bottle was over 100 mils even though there wasn't 100 mils of product in there so I also picked up this little travel size one um, this was 10 to 13 dollars I think that's 50 mils so it was worth it on the plane ride home I was so glad I had it. I've got a Kat Von D Ludwig palette and it looks like that it's got the gorgeous greens and these like reddy browns this, I'll put everything into a box so I could show you um, I got this Cargo blush in Tongo. Really nice dusky colour. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. These were really cheap. There's like a whole bunch of product in here. There is like 9 grams of product in this blush. And it was $25. It was ridiculous. I actually really like these. I'll probably end up picking up some more of them um, online. They're just fantastic. 